Hi everyone, welcome to Cindy's Art. I'm Cindy and today we are going to paint an ocean beach watercolor painting. I'm going to do it in three simple stages. The first stage we're going to do is with a wash where we're laying down the colors of the sky, the sand, and the ocean. And then we're going to move into working on the tree, the sand, and wave details. And then we're just going to finish off with some simple details. I'm using Arches cold press paper that's 140 pounds and it's got a lot of cotton in it and that allows me to get this paper really wet and do my first wash. My washes are wet on wet. I wet down my paper, I'll let it sit for a minute, I'll wet it down again because Arches is cotton and it'll absorb that water really well. And I do that because I have a very dry art room right now so I need it to stay wet longer. And as I went ahead and put my wet on wet down just for the sky area, I used a little bit of Veriditor and Cerulean Blue and a little bit of Horizon Blue. And I put in uh, my paint and you can see I left gaps. And leaving gaps allows my paint to run and blend by itself and it leaves me these beautiful soft clouds. So that's how we're starting off with this one. For the sand, I do a wet on wet again, and I'm using a little bit of burnt sienna mixed with yellow ochre, and then there's times where I'll add a little tiny bit of quinacridone red and a little bit of permanent yellow orange. And the colors that come out in this are really pretty. I let it blend on the paper. So there's times where I'm going to dab in just a little bit of yellow ochre. Later on in the painting, when we're finishing up the sand, I'm actually going to use Aurelion. And I'm going to use that yellow to brighten up the entire beach. But right now, all I want to do is get these colors on here. And I want to uh, let them blend together. And I'll have my reference photo available for you during the painting usually it's in the top right hand side and for this little hill I wanted to make sure that I put in a little bit of the shadow colors where the tree is going to be and so you see this hill effect that I've developed in this um, area of the sand and then I'm finalizing this by dipping my brush in water wiping it off and I'm softening up that edge I don't want a hard edge right here on this uh, sandy beach so that's what it looks like finished up let it dry really well and then I'm going to go back in wet on wet and I'm going to start working on my sea colors I'm using ultramarine blue deep which is for the very dark blue that'll come out in a few minutes. I'm using marine blue. This is marine blue right here. Working wet on wet again, my colors are gonna blend. This is a peacock blue. I add in a tiny bit of horizon blue as well uh, into the waves towards the forefront. The highlight of this picture really is going to be the, uh, the tree that we create later. And so right now, as I'm creating these waves, I'm leaving the white part of the white caps plain. Then I'm going underneath of the wave and I'm just adding a tiny bit of a light blue because I just want to see where am I going to paint those waves. Then when I'm ready, I will go ahead and use a little bit of a darker blue, that ultramarine blue deep, and I'll put a tiny bit underneath of this wave. And uh, whenever you see a wave crashing, take a look at the colors. Uh, it, the right smack underneath that white, usually it's a darker color, or if it's a really high wave, it's going to be a super bright teal blue or a greenish blue. And these are lower waves, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of ultramarine blue. And I'm sketching out where these waves are.
I'm going to finish this next section up just by adding a few more dark lines in before I go ahead and move to that tree. And at this point, I'm wanting to capture a little bit more detail of the waves before I go ahead and put a tree on top of it. I've got some splattering for us to do, and then I'm going to have us finish off uh, towards the end with a little bit more detail of those white caps. So I'm going to use my ultramaroon blue deep, a little bit of neutral mixed with that. Sometimes I'll use a little bit of marine blue and ultramarine blue deep. Just play with those colors. Uh, a blue is not just a blue. There's purples in it. There's other colors that you can use. I even use yellow ochre, a, a, a splash of yellow ochre on a beach if you can see the waves up close, which we're not doing that today. But think about the colors. If we use blue on everything, it would be boring after a point. So let's finish this section up and then we'll move on. Here's a great tip if you're going to create a sketch on top of a watercolor painting, use a watercolor pencil. This pencil that I'm using is specifically designed that when I start to use my paint which has water in it, these blue lines will disappear. And I'm using blacks and browns for the tree anyway, but just so you know, you can buy these pencils in red and blue and black and you'll find the, the specific one listed below for you in the description. So we're going to sketch this tree out, then we're going to start to use our neutral, a little bit of burnt sienna, raw umber, and we're going to sketch the branches of this tree in. Let's go ahead and start creating the sand. I took a rag and I just put it over top of the top part of the painting because I don't want this uh, sand color splattering and ruining the picture above. And splattering like this is one way you can create sand. 
and I'm taking my brush dipped in burnt sienna or sepia, you could use sepia as well, and then I'm using yellow ochre, I'm using a tiny bit of my permanent yellow orange, and then I'm using like a milky uh, yellow ochre mixed with white gouache to get a white color. So I'm going to tap, tap, tap uh, until I get enough coverage down here where I feel like it looks more like sand. Uh, it really is a fun way to create sand. And then once you let this dry again, I'm going to show you how you can add a little bit more color into that sand, some shadows, and it's going to still leave the dots right there on the paper for you. Guys, I lost a clip in my video, so I'm going to tell you what I did. Below in the sand, while I'm working on the tar part and I'm adding some details onto the branches, take a look at the sand and you can see it's like somebody stepped in the sand. What I did was let my dots dry and then I took a little bit of water and I uh, put it on top of the sand just a little bit. I added some yellows into uh, the brighter areas of the sand and a tiny bit of dark brown right at the base of that tree. Then as this was drying, I took my brush and I just tapped in a little few dots of that dark brown to make it look like somebody walked in the sand. And that's what I did. I'm so sorry. I hate to not uh, publish this video when I can simply just tell you what I did. And the trick I want to tell you about is when you're working with the sand, it was fine that I put my dots down. If I'm going to add color on top like I did, what I want to do is only put water on one time. I take my brush, I wipe some water on, and then I put a little bit of the paint on, and that's it. And the reason why is the more I take my brush and push it on that paper, it could start pushing those dots right off. So that was it. To add in the shadow, I use permanent violet along with a tiny bit of neutral for me to uh, just tap in a few of these uh, lines for the shadow. This was really a fun painting. I hope that you enjoyed the time that we got to spend doing this. You're going to see me finish off with a little bit of a white jelly roll, number 10. It, it's a pen that's by Sakura. It's one of my favorites to use when I'm finishing up water. And uh, I just wanted to make sure that I gave enough of like a, a splash. Like it looked like there was water splashing behind there. But we need to remember that this is meant to be a very simple painting. And uh, we wanted to focus on the tree and keep everything super loose and super simple. So I really hope you enjoyed this and I would look forward to uh, seeing how your work came out. And I provided in the description how you can do that. Please uh, like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you are notified when the next video comes out. I have linked other videos in here if you enjoy seascapes for you to try. Thanks again so much. It was so good to be with you. We'll see you next time.